which is totally, totally unethical of him, irresponsible. Given that a lot of what's happened over the emergency is unprecedented, and just yesterday the government secretly, I suppose, revoked a lot of the emergency ordinances, do you think that we've hit a low point in our parliamentary democracy? I think when you just ignore the parliamentary processes, yeah, not going back to the parliament to get the, the authorization to do a thing like emergency, a revoking emergency, and so on, well, how low can you go? I mean, to me, the, as low as you can tolerate even, you know. It, it can go lower if you allow it to, but I think this is the lowest I personally can tolerate and many of us can tolerate. And the members of parliament, you know, who have a sense of responsibility to the nation and the people for whom they who have voted them in must be really, you know, up in arms, literally. How can they be treated like that? And what did you make of Prime Minister Moedin Yassin not showing up after recess to answer questions? Totally, totally unethical of him, irresponsible. Because this was a time where the Prime Minister should be asked. Every other country in the world that I see, especially where the, the, you know, the Westminster type of democracy, right, Parliament, where the Prime Minister is there to answer even the smallest question pertaining to COVID. I mean, I watched this uh, on BBC. This one just walked out. What, what is this? Is he shirking responsibility? Is he unable to answer? Or is there no answer that he could offer to the right yet? To the right yet? That's all I can surmise. What else can I say? He cannot be having another stomachache or another diarrhea, right? 